Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is FX. Today I'm gonna tell you about the hero Omar. He is a tank and warrior. This hero needs to be played as observer for his mobility and crowd control. His passive gut punch really useful. Each time Omar deals damage, he has a chance to stun the target and do physical damage. To be precise and to be followed. His first ability, Unstoppable. By using it, Omar dashes forward and his next basic attack will knock up the target and do physical damage. It is also used as a mobility if you have stuck up on the situations. His second ability, Swagger, will bash the ground and deals damage to the targets in its range and it will stack up fighting spirit. Reaching 3 fighting spirit will trigger gut punch. That's his passive. That means you can stun the enemies more often or knock up the enemies to be precise. His third ability, Walking Tall. Omar swings his hammer in circle, deals physical damage to the targets it's in its range. For the build, I use this build. This gives much armor and magic defense. For the talents, you can use heal to heal up your teammates or you can use execute to deal heavy damage. For Arcanas, use Indomitable, Colossus and Mithril. Here is the gameplay of Omar. I am playing with my friend Danklux and Aries. We have two marksmen, one mage and two tank warrior in our team. To be honest, our team composition is worse than the enemy team. And here you can see me, I am roaming around the jungle to see if the enemy invades our jungle. It's very important for an observer or a roamer. Here we take the bison bird or seagull to be precise and here we are cleaning the way of first minion then we get back to the roaming I check the enemy composition and saw so they have one mage you can always adjust your builds according to the enemy team here we can see the enemy malloc he was sneaking up from the bushes always check the bushes before you gank or enter here you can see the enemy malloc is out position and we can clearly kill him and he is dead now Always see the mini map, it will tell you much details about the enemy team position. The mini map is the only vision you get throughout the game. Here you can see the dragon is spawned, the first dragon, and we are taking it very easily because no enemy movement nearby. And Another information about the game, never flame, I mean never pass off to the opponent or to the teammate. It doesn't help you to win the game. If you pass off or use flame, 
it will make you the prime target for the enemy team. Here you can see we cleared the minion wave and then I am going back to roaming again. Always clear the minion wave because it will damage your turret. Here you can see that we are cleaning the wave again. Not much action going on now. We are just defending our lane and you can see the enemy butterfly is out position so we are trying to get a kill from her but the enemy malop jumps up to us and i am using my ultimate here to be unfortunate their team doesn't follow the malop and they are very low at this point we can easily get the kill but we are not tower driving because we don't have minions in, in the tower Enemy Yon has been taken out by our Joker, but our Joker is too low, and he he got killed. And enemy Malok here is out positioned again. He thought that he can kill us, but he gets killed by himself. And our team is after Butterfly, and she gets killed too. I am cleaning the wave again, and I am going back to the base for my heal and my mana production. Always recall to your base when you are too low or you don't have mana. Here we are trying to get a kill from Yon, but he doesn't move from his turret. It's very clever of him, and we get the red buff from enemy team. Try to take their buffs whenever possible. Here the enemy Malor was to be killed again but he jumped off using his ultimate and gets away. As an observer or as a tank, you always need to protect your ADC because at the end of the game ADC is not the main part of the team and they are doing the DM damage to the enemy we take the enemy buff again the small camp to be precise here we see the enemy butterfly and malop are also again and enemy butterfly has taken up very easily and malop breaks away It was very easy game for us, though our team composition was not better. If you are playing tank, always try to avoid the attack from their mages, because mages are the um, Heroes that deal the damage to the tank. Yes. But I have magic resistance and armor too. Here you can see our uh, Superman got up against any butterfly and he gets killed. But I don't have mana to go after butterfly either. I will get a kill from. I would love to get a kill from any butterfly. And their tank is flaming again and again. And we are making him prime target. Always make your game short. Because if in the late game you, are get, you get wiped out. They will they can easily take out all your turrets. The malloc jump us jump on us again and 
they are trying to gank us but their team doesn't follow Melo and Melo get killed here you can see in the top our Fanny gets killed because he was out position and he was against three of the enemy heroes Throughout the game, I haven't seen the Batman. I think he was AFK. To be honest, if he was on the enemy side, it would have been hard for us to get the star and get the skill. You can see on the menu, menu butterfly is invading our shoulder. So me and our shoulder get to her and try to get a key from her. So you can see it here. I'm getting back to the base to refill my mana. Guys, always go back to your base. If you are too low on mana or health, I never overestimate. Here I am clearing the midway. It's the prime time to take the DS or Dark Slayer because any two enemy teammates are dead. And they are just defending now. Dark, uh, dark player has been taken out easily. And we have the dark player buff. And we can hit the enemy more. Like you see, another two of the enemy team get killed. Now we can take out this turret easily. And enemy gear has been taken out by Superman easily. And clicking the fire trick button because it doesn't hit the enemy hero, it hits the fire trick button, and you don't get the fire trick and you, you get the enemy base very easily. And it's a victory for us, and I got the MVP. Thanks for watching the video. Hit like and subscribe button for more.